Samsung is one of the most recognizable names in modern smartphones. It has a well-deserved reputation for offering an expensive lineup of great phones with something for just about everyone. This means if you're looking for an Android phone, you'll have a hard time finding a Samsung model that's not worth considering for your needs and budget. In fact, the number of choices can be a bit overwhelming, but the good news is that we've explored the entire range and highlighted the best Samsung smartphones you can buy. Like its predecessor, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra gets the nod for the best overall Samsung phone, and that's not just because it's Samsung's premium flagship device. Uh, sure, it's the most expensive in the lineup, but you're getting some incredible bang for your buck with a large and gorgeous display, excellent cameras, and a new processor that offers unprecedented levels of performance. And if you're looking for something more unique, more pocketable, or more affordable, you'll find a lot of great other options on our list in every category. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number 6. Samsung Galaxy A53 the A53 is essentially a light version of the Galaxy S22, bringing lots of S-range features to a lower price point. It's not the absolute cheapest phone Samsung makes by some distance, but it is on the lower end of the mid-range and definitely worth considering if you're on a budget. The phone measures 159.6 by 74.8 by 8.1 millimeters and weighs 189 grams, so we'd call it medium-sized. It's not so big that it's uncomfortable to use, so long as your mitts aren't massive. It's also undeniably attractive. While we were testing the Peach version, we were constantly told how good it looks. The white, black, and blue versions are similarly pretty. The Samsung Galaxy A53 boasts one of the best-looking screens you'll see on a phone for this price. It's a vibrant, colorful, 6.5-inch Super AMOLED panel with a FHD Plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, and 800 nits max brightness. The main camera is a 64-megapixel f1.8 with a wide-angle lens and it's joined by a 12-megapixel camera with an f2.2 123-degree ultra-wide, a 5-megapixel f2.4 macro, and a 5-megapixel f2.4 depth sensor. The snappers take photos that are bright and colorful, which makes shots of wildlife, food, landscapes, or people pop. There's high dynamic range for a phone at this price, and pictures are sharp too, as long as you take them on the main camera. The Galaxy A53 may lap same price rivals in the camera and display departments, but it falls behind on performance. The chip here is the Exynos 1280, which is a home-brewed piece of mid-range kit from Samsung, and it leaves a lot to be desired. The 5,000 mAh battery is on the big side, though we see lots of mid-rangers pack this kind of power. That bright screen and 5G require a lot of juice, and we found that the phone lasted roughly a day between charges. The Samsung Galaxy A53 gives you some surprisingly top-end specs for its price in some departments, but in others, it's weaker than its rivals. Number 5. Samsung Galaxy A54 the Galaxy A54 provides a low-cost alternative to Samsung's Galaxy S flagships, but don't dismiss it as a mere budget device. As Samsung has packed a lot of value into the A54, starting with the same 50-megapixel main camera that the Galaxy S23 uses. That camera helps the Galaxy A54 produce quality photos that outshine many of the other camera phones in its price range. The Exynos 1380 powering the Galaxy A54 doesn't exactly impress in terms of performance, but it does help the phone last a long time on a charge. The 5000 mAh battery plays a role too, and we like the fact that Samsung didn't rest on its laurels with last year's Galaxy A53 display, making the Galaxy A54 screen even brighter than before. 
As impressive as the Galaxy S23 models are, not everyone can pay $799 or more for a new phone. The Galaxy A54 means you don't have to, and you can still get a very capable device in return. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy S23 These days, there's no such thing as a truly small flagship. The last one we had was the Galaxy S10e. R.I.P. you tiny angel. But the Galaxy S23 is as close to one as you can get today, featuring the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, admittedly with slightly less RAM, a screen that's just as bright but more reasonably sized, and new camera design, this 6.1-inch phone is sensible and reliable. While its big brothers might steal the spotlight, the Galaxy S23 is just as powerful and packs 95% of the same features, costing hundreds less than the S23 Plus and Ultra. It's also free with trade-in at all three major carriers, which is how I got my lovely little Lavender S23. After years of preferring smaller phones, you get used to needing to top off your battery early, but I regularly get over 8 hours of screen time on my Galaxy S23, though that may be slightly skewed by my tendency uh, to use my phone on lower brightness. The cameras here are virtually identical to last year's Galaxy S22. While that means they're still pretty decent for photography during daylight hours or well-lit interior shots, it can still struggle a bit in lower light. Samsung's well-known photo processing can leave photos feeling oversaturated or overbrightened, but it'll still be fine in most instances. Uh, hopefully, the Galaxy S24 gets an upgrade to its main and zoom cameras. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 The Galaxy Z Flip 3 was one of the most stylish-looking smartphones to come out in recent years, and the Flip 4 wisely brings back the same exact look, but with more color customization options. We adore the two-tone finish and the petite size when folded up, but don't mistake the small size for lack of power. This thing is, along with the Fold 4, the most durable foldable phone ever, with IPX8 water resistance and armor aluminum build material. The Flip 4 is an awesome device for those who find modern Android phones too large and hard to pocket. Unfolded, the 6.7-inch 1080 by 2640 display looks and behaves like any other top Samsung screen, with vibrant colors, top-notch sharpness, and a fast refresh rate of up to 120Hz for buttery smooth animations. Samsung also improved the software for the outer cover display, allowing users to open any app on the smaller 1.9-inch display. New to the Flip 4 is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, which has a stronger GPU and superior battery efficiency. The latter is important, as battery life has always been a slight weakness in previous flips. While the Flip 4 isn't going to win any battery endurance awards, it is now possible to get all-day use, provided you're not pushing it too heavily. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 Put simply, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is the best Samsung phone for productivity on the market right now, sporting a cool foldable form factor. You can pick the phone up in gray-green, phantom black, beige, or a Samsung-exclusive burgundy color. The first thing you'll notice is the productivity-focused dual screens. The 6.2-inch front display and 7.6-inch main display both boast a 120Hz variable refresh rate that adapts depending on what you're doing. There's a side-mounted fingerprint scanner and a robust yet lightweight armor aluminum frame with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the cover screen and back for added durability. With the Z Fold 4, you're getting the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip in both the US and the UK, with 12GB RAM and up to 1TB of onboard storage, though there's no micro SD card slot. The 4400mAh battery should see you through most days with plenty of charge, and there's up to 25 watts wired charging and 15 watts wireless charging, though there's no charger in the box. On the camera front, there's a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom. 
and digital 30 times space zoom mode. There's also a 4 megapixel under display camera. But where the Galaxy Z Fold 4 stands out is its productivity features. There's support for the S Pen, but no storage slot though you can pick up a case with included storage. The Z Fold 4 is running Android 13, which gives you the taskbar. This works like a Windows PC taskbar to allow quick switching between apps, yet handily disappears when you don't want it. For example, when watching full screen videos. You can use up to three apps on the unfolded screen and add a fourth app over the top, which can be used as a floating window. Altering the shape and size of each app window is a breeze, and it's really easy to activate multitasking. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 also works with Samsung's DeX mode, turning your smartphone into a desktop computer as well as providing access to Microsoft's Xbox Games Pass. You'll also get 5G connectivity and 4 Android OS updates, as well as 5 years of security updates, ensuring this phone will last for years to come. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra Samsung isn't scoring any points for an exciting upgrade this year, but that doesn't mean the Galaxy S23 Ultra isn't an incredible phone. It takes everything we liked about last year's device and makes it better, or at the very least, keeps the experience surprisingly consistent. A slightly refined design means the curved display is now flatter than ever, though the company could just, you know, make it flat, while this squared off frame fits better in the palm of your hand. It's a small design change, but an appreciated one nonetheless. While S22 Ultra owners might find the look and feel pretty familiar, and ultimately not worth an upgrade, it's still some of the best Android hardware around. And that extends to the specs. Powering the S23 series, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset is impressive. Everything feels buttery smooth, from endlessly scrolling through Twitter to playing even the most demanding mobile games. And with a couple of exceptions, the chipset handles it all while keeping cool under pressure. Battery life is also exceptional. You can expect about a day and a half of runtime on a single charge. Unfortunately, uh, charging speeds can't quite measure up. Uh, 45 watts isn't too slow, but you'll need a compatible PPS brick, and one isn't included in the box. Really though, the camera is where you'll find the biggest upgrade. With a massive 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP2 sensor, the images this thing is capable of can blow your socks off. It struggles with motion and shutter lag, but all four lenses can score phenomenal photos and videos. All that, and we didn't even mention the S Pen. Truly, this is a powerhouse of a device. You'll have to shell out a pretty penny for it, but we doubt you'll regret picking one up. So that wraps up our list of the best Samsung phones. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which Samsung phone you are going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.